Whenever I try on a doctor, I still feel a little bit like Dirk Pitt in a Clive Cussler novel, I can't help it. And this special vibe is part of the reason for the rocket-like re-emergence of Doxa as a brand, from niche favourite to Instagram star, through the pure focus on vintage divers watches. The Sub 300 was seriously revamped last year, but ever since the Aqualung edition in carbon fibre came out, a dark presence has haunted the dreams of many Doxa fans. The moody, smooth feel of the high-tech fibre turned up the emphasis on the Sub 300 as a divers tool. So if you've longed for that lightness and comfortable embrace, here's your ticket. But before we step onto the dark side for a close look at the new Doxa Sub 300 Carbon series, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you do not miss any of our new videos. Within Doxa's core range, Carbon Fibre with its silky touch and shimmering tactility brings this diver's tool to another level. What's cooler than a fridge full of dayglow popsicles? The bright dials of Doxa seem even more prominent framed by the matte silky darkness. While retaining the particular tonneau shape we love, the strong flyweight carbon fibre makes it sit almost ghostly on the wrist, and the 13.4mm thickness is seriously slim for such a tool. I didn't put these on the scales, but with the Aqualung edition at a sobering 87 grams, this is seriously light. And while this new range all seriously pop with colour like any Doxa, we now have a retro futuristic vibe unlike any other diver at this price level. In the orange professional, the classic pinpoint accurate flash of 70s is why it seems apt to start with this zesty orange reference, what most people associate with Doxa. The slim tonneau shape is textbook comfort for a diver's watch with a shape that makes it shrink on the wrist keeping it vintage perfect. I mean, what do you think? To my eyes, the carbon fibre just changes the image, appealing to the less vintage obsessed, while still retaining that otherness that Doxa is loved for. The organic shape is like nothing else, and here the tactility of the case is transformed through the silky demeanour of the carbon fibre body. A box crystal creates vibrant reflections and frames the intensely fruity orange dial with its gloss black details. With the choice of black or orange supple rubber straps, you choose just how fresh you want to go, make that extra or ultra. And when trying on the silver dial Sea Rambler, its crisp silver brings a more classic late 60s look to the table and is still sheer functionality as sharp as a diver's serrated blade. While the vintage look, especially on a black strap, somehow gives me more of an instrument feeling like a Leica camera. I mean, this is only emphasized by the click smooth perfection of the legible bezel. It's still fresh, but it's more formal and exact in its demeanour. The dial details are razor sharp with the single fresh pop of the minute hand and zesty orange bezel markings from the small detail of the half crosshair design of the dial to the diagonally opposed text. The busy vintage dial is a lesson in graphic balance. With the yellow diving star, we're back to a sunny day in Fresh City in the tangiest lemon yellow enough to cheer up any rainy day. The hour markers are here in gloss black and they seem to pop even more with the broad center section of Superluminova. The handset is classic Doxa with a thin sword hour hand and a broad sword minute hand underlining the margins at stake on a dive. It's simply pure form over function for those vital minutes of air using the crisp bezel as a timer. And as a first entry to the colorful world of Doxa, you can't go wrong with a flash of yellow. Just be prepared for random questions from the public. As a quiet wrist presence, it's not. But you know what? That's all good. And deep blue has been the dial color du jour for the last couple of years. And in the dusty matte Caribbean from Doxa, we have a great match for the arresting structure of carbon fiber. And the white dial accents make this one of the most legible of all the new carbon bodied sub 300s. Orange works deliciously juxtaposed with blue, making the bezel accents and that massive minute hand stand out at several feet. You've got the choice of rubber strap colours, but the look of this on a black rubber is special, the ocean blue becoming intense, emphasised by the orange tool hand reminding you to get your scuba gear ready. In the new Sub 300 Carbon series from Doxa, if they remind you of a brace of fruit lollies that you might find just too fresh, the Shark Hunter is more stealth fighter. 
pure monochrome crisp. It makes you notice the slight variations in the carbon fiber and the grey silver flecks giving you a quiet glimmer in the right light. Like the Caribbean, the dial markers and crisp minute track are pure white, while once again we're charmed by the brawn of that large orange minute hand. Every time I try on one of the new Sub 300 carbon references, I'm surprised by the lightness and the fact that the 42.5mm wears a lot smaller, a feeling only compounded by the featherweight composite. And lastly, the brightness of the aquamarine coloured dial has never had a better frame than with the juxtaposition of carbon fibre emitting an almost legible pop. For maximum effect, the soft comfort of the matching aquamarine strap with the solid feeling new clasp and its dive extension is pure summer candy. The black and white of the markers, hands and sharp superluminal application is like glossy licorice for the soul and an impressive final piece to try on in the new sub 300 carbon range. With the solid ETA 2824 2 movement under the hood, you'll have a highly accurate diver's watch with a bulletproof Swiss movement and a decent 42 hour power reserve. Soft comfort and lightweight aside, that wake up call of the fresh colors is as confusing as it is delightful. Nothing but a pure positive feeling akin to a kid in a candy shop, eyes transfixed before the colorful jars of sweet joy. You just try to find a favorite and you might lose an hour or two, still with the risk of the dangerous conclusion that you want to get more than one. Please don't tell my wife.